there we go. Hello, good uh, night, good afternoon, good morning, everybody around the world. Uh, this is the Gulf Summer of Code uh, office hour from today, April 27th, one week before announcement of the selected projects and uh, contributors. So where are we standing right now? The mentors did a lot of work in uh, grade in grading and ranking all the proposals and projects. Built the project teams uh, and uh, doing a lot of discussions because it was this year it was particularly difficult uh, to choose. So we had uh, over. Let's say, well, I don't know if we can disclose it, but uh, over 60 proposals. So huge amount, uh, a good proportion of very good ones and uh, only limited resources. So we had to choose and uh, it was not easy at all. We have a choice. We have our uh, list of projects and mentors that we're submitting to uh, Google in a particular order. So we say these are the projects we can uh, mentor uh, this year. Please um, support and sponsor these uh, projects. And they're going to decide if there is enough money for all the proposals for that. I'm crossing fingers. And I think that all projects that we submitted will be accepted by Google. But this is an unknown as we're getting into uh, not a crisis, but turbulent times in some of our industry right now. The deadline for the last tweaks is um, at 1800 uh, UTC today. Then it's closed. And then mentors can rest for a week until uh, the announcement of next week. So the announcement by Google will be exactly in one week at 1800 uh, UTC. So uh, that will be uh, uh, so that will be in the middle of the night for uh, India and uh, Asia. So you will learn it in the middle in the middle or you will learn it in the morning or if you want to stay late because you're too curious. We're welcome. The day after that, on Friday, usual time, we will hold uh, the uh, office hour where we will cheer the selected people, the winners, and um, uh, we'll, we'll discuss and, and see and uh, uh, give advice to the people that were selected, but also advice and uh, follow up to the people <laughs> to the people that uh, didn't make it this year so and a lot of very good work my curiosity won't let me sleep says harsh <laughs> well i i can share that feeling i can share that feeling. so this is the news from from this side so we're in the middle Nothing really strong to share or to, to work. Just need waiting. I know it's uh, nail biting stress for for the people on the, the selection uh, part, but um, this is how it goes. So other questions, comments, or um, things? I hope that Arsh will not miss his sleep for one week now. So I hope that the days before she will be able to sleep.
sleep a little bit and just stay up the night with the announcement. I, I think we, we can uh, uh, thanks all the all the for all the contribution and the proposal we got. Uh, it was very difficult to choose. Uh, it was very interesting to read the proposal, uh, and so and I think we we can say we recognize that uh, um, a lot of them, uh, a lot of people put a lot of work in in those proposals, and that we appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, and that, that was our job was hard, but uh, we do recognize the the work that have been done and. It was uh, hard work, but uh, rewarding for us as well. Yeah. It's satisfying also for us to see the, the the good proposal, good energy and things. Yeah, thank you very much, Adrian. You summarized it uh, very well. Uh, very satisfying. Somebody wants to, to add something else or? Raise the subject. Then uh, I have some. Cool. Go ahead. Um, uh, like, if I have an idea that I missed and during the like coding period, if I think that it would be nice to implement, can I implement that if I get selected? Uh, I'm going to try to rephrase it to be sure that I understood your question correctly. Um, so your question is, no, I'm, I'm not sure I understood it correctly. So if you are, if you are selected or if you are not selected. Selected, I think. Chris, say, did you uh, hear? Say, Go ahead, Mukul. If, if I'm selected and uh, with discussion with my mentor that uh, like I came up with an amazing idea and uh, then can I implement that idea like uh, that is not mentioned in my proposal or yeah. do I have to go through that proposal? Only? No, we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You, you have, no, no, the, these all ideas it was a proposal and, and proposals like an open source project are things that, that change evolve depending on the discoveries that are made. Now, uh, one danger uh, is that you try to embrace too much and that you widen the scope of what you're trying to do far too, uh, to, and, and that you will not end uh, correctly. So, and. This is during the bonding uh, period that this will happen when the project teams, uh, the, the contributor will work together to finalize the project plan. And the project plan is saying, we're going to start with that feature, with this epic, with uh, this, um, uh, the, this feature. And so you, you put milestones one after the other. And then so we're going to do that. And, if we reach that, then we have that additional stretch goal. Uh, all these things are are uh, uh, are open. It's the the proposal is not a contract. It's it's a base. It's a starting point. Somebody wants to add something to that? No, I, I think I, I think the, the 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 proposal is like a, a good plan. It, it it doesn't survive uh, the first activity you you, you have. Uh, it's larger than open source. It's probably the same for uh, in, in companies' work and, and so on. Um, and again, uh, if you mention that with your uh, with the mentor uh, and and or with the team of mentors, and everyone agrees uh, that was that's a good idea. Uh, let's go for it. There's no no need. It's not. Yeah, it's not a strict plan. The proposal is just uh, for us to see what you understood of the project and what you want, what you see uh, uh, evolution or what you need, what needs to be done for the project. But not a strict plan. Yeah, we're we're clarifying that uh, during the bonding period, how it goes. Okay. Thank you. 
I leave the the mic open for a couple of minutes or a little time. Otherwise, we can stop here as there is no pressing subject. Well, we we spend some time together. That, that's good. Uh, I have one other like topic uh, that I wanted to discuss. Uh, like uh, there was an issue of like plagiarism uh, one time. So uh, what do we consider plagiarism in open source? Like in the GSOC there is mentioned like plagiarism of code, like what can be copied and what cannot be copied? Uh, what is considered as plagiarism? Like, I'm asking about that. That's a good question, and that's that's a good question. Uh, that it's it's for instance a good conference topic to explore the subject and ask people what it is. Um, as we said, uh, building so the principle of open source is that you the, the expression is you're building on the shoulders of giants, of the people that were before or people that are working uh, together with you. And this can only be done by sharing ideas, make them grow and build uh, on them. What is important, like in science, is that you do a correct attribution and say, this idea comes from that person, this part of code, I copied, I improved it or extended it with this and this and this. So you absolutely need to be respectful to other people's work uh, exactly in the same way, same way as you want other people to respect your work. So don't do to others what you wouldn't like others to do to you. So it's um, uh, a, a plagiarism is something that's that's used only in in a competition. Okay, GSOC has a competition part, and uh, because only a limited numbers will be selected. Uh, but working with the ideas of others is an very important part of open source in sharing ideas and and making them them grow. This is uh, a, 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 a critical value of open source. So we cannot use plagiarism in this uh, uh, in this scope. Am I clear with what I I tried to explain, or? Uh, uh. So, uh, like, uh, if I uh, like take a piece of code from Stack Overflow, so like I should uh, like cite that I took that from here in comment or like in the PR I'm raising or what should be the optimal approach for that uh, to be like in the in the comment, unless it's it's super uh, uh, trivial. But if you find uh, an algorithm or uh, a neat trick, just add it as a comment and say this, these following lines or the principle of this um, uh, method comes from this particular post uh, in, uh, in Stack Overflow, for instance, just mentioning exactly the same way as you do it when you're doing a presentation and you're using pictures. Uh, at the minimal you should do is say, where did you get that photo or that picture? So that you don't claim that it is yours. Uh, uh, there, there are very strict codes that you need to follow in attributing your your piece of, of uh, uh, knowledge or, or intellectual property. Do they discuss uh, about that in, in, in school? Uh, no, uh, like in my school, they didn't discuss about this. Maybe. 
there was no plagiarism. You can copy it from others. And this is the first time, like, uh, I'm it's encouraged with plagiarism. <laughs> Well, yeah, this is this is why it's very different uh, uh, from the the scholar or purely school uh, procedure or or a way of working. In the yeah. scientific world, research, there are other rules uh, that 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 need to be to be followed. And uh, in open source, it's even another uh, another uh, interpretation. Chris, you wanted to say something? Yeah, so it also depends on which school you go to. It's like normally in the West, it is always like discussed at the beginning of the program. But uh, it, it is taught in Hong Kong too, in most universities. But in China, I'm not sure. And in India, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I, I know that these kind of things are, so plagiarism is considered cheating. In many schools, because they're expecting that you do all the work yourself because you're learning. And then you need to start doing your first research uh, paper, but there you cannot invent everything. You read other people's theory, other people's uh, uh, techniques, or it depends on what field uh, you are. And you need to be taught how you handle that and open source is something completely different because having the ideas flow and exchange and moving very rapidly uh, 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 behind is important there is an important competition being first being successful with the idea being able to put the idea further uh, this is also an important uh, element, but uh, the flow of idea. This is it, it, this makes it really great. Is uh, hey, I have this idea. I start with it. I'm running out of time. I can't finish it. Uh, I can't. Well, here, if you want to pick my idea, continue building it here. Be my guest, and and here, continue building would make me proud. See the spirit? Uh, so, uh, like we have uh, recently, we have uh, chat GPT. So, if I like use that and to uh, like create a piece of code, uh, like so, uh, will that be considered a plagiarism? Uh, like it is inside the source, uh, it says that it has created that uh, code from scratch. And it doesn't cite that uh, cite the source from uh, which uh, like it has uh, used to generate that code. So, what will be uh, like? What should I do if like I'm using ChatGPT? Consider a uh, case like I'm using ChatGPT to like help me. And now, yeah. Uh... Well, we need to, we need to to put the the scope uh, correctly, and we we are running out of time there. The scope of what is plagiarism and how and so, uh, and we had an interesting start of discussion last week about uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, one of the biggest, uh, uh, how can I say that, uh, a culprit, I think is the correct English word, or dangers with chat GPT is that it's so assertive and it looks good that you turn off your own intelligence and are not critical and say, and, and you're saying this, this will work, this is bug free, while it is not. It is something that people call an artificial intelligence that's in fact a, a super quick search engine that that learns and these search engines can be wrong and can also be made purposefully wrong people can trick it to make you uh, and, and assert things that are just 
uh, 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 stupidity. I'm, I'm from a history background and I've seen uh, a statement that, I, and I could spot where it was created on Wikipedia. And, and this stupid uh, was about women's rights related to the end of the First World War. So something, but this assertion exploded on the web and people were, were just re-quoting it. With ChatGPT, you will just have that by the power of a thousand. That and and uh, so, it 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 will help at one time. But you absolutely need to be critical, and and this is why uh, use your brain. Don't trust uh, it. It's a helper, can give you good tips as trusting everything that you find on Google or you find on the internet people are very good in writing things that that they, they, he knows what he's talking no he doesn't use your brain try it just my personal comment uh, yes I, I agree with that like uh, like it wrote a piece of code that was completely illogical so I can agree with that but uh, it can help and uh, people are uh, people have also tricked it, uh, like tricked it to do certain things which should not be possible, uh, like saying uh, for a certain race or say certain things, which uh, is like wrong, and people have tricked it to do. So uh, yeah. I think uh, like ChatGPT is uh, like, but what about plagiarism? Like, what about the uh, code it is writing? Uh, if 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 it's well, anyway. Uh, ChatGPT is one of the, the problems behind it. It uses sources on the internet. It learns from it. It should quote where he, he learned it, how it's done, but it's hidden behind that. So you don't know where it's, its knowledge is coming from. But if you yourself, you use uh, uh, information produced by ChatGPT, right, just attribute it and say, this code has been generated by ChatGPT on that date with these parameters or these uh, data, or uh, this is not coming from, from me, it comes from ChatGPT and in, like it's a hearsay. So uh, it's, it's now making people believe that you created that while it's coming from, from uh, uh, this type of engine, uh, this is not plagiarism, this is cheating. And, and you'll have, once it's, it, people find it out that in fact, you, you make believe that you can do all these things and that in fact you can't, or uh, that you're, you're impersonating uh, something else, once people find that out, you're out of the game. So the benefit that you get from it is very dangerous and limited. Uh, but the uh, reason of citing uh, something is that if in future it is found wrong or if uh, in future it is found like uh, that something was, where was it taken from or like uh, what was the... Uh, thought process on creating that or how it was produced uh, the purpose of citing like uh, in my opinion so uh, if we cite like uh, it was produced by chat gpt then uh, how will we uh, how will we come to the conclusion that uh, like how it was created or something like that that how it was generated or other information we might find if uh, like uh, say it was cited from uh, cited from Stack Overflow. Like if or, if it is uh, cited from Stack Overflow, like then we will know uh, that for sure. What question lead to this, and what discussion was there? What discussion went there? So we might uh, get some more information regarding that. Like uh, say we copy, uh, say we uh, took a function from, from Stack Overflow, and cite that, and so. Like the person who copied was uh, like took it from the question itself. 
uh, not the solution. So that generated an error here. And from that citing, yeah. we can like understand that uh, what happened. But yeah. if we cite ChatGPT, uh, like we might not uh, see that. So like, what's your thought on this? Yeah, here, uh, Mukul, this is a very wide question and, and very interesting one. The, to conclude the discussion here in this forum, uh, just be aware that ChatGPT does not have the correct level of quality. The second thing is that once it gets that level, that we can trust it and reuse it, and it can replace the coder or developers or human beings in many things, and it is not just a tool to help, then we have a big problem and we can start looking for another type of existence. existence. At the same at the same level as as here in Europe a hundred years ago, so a pe people that could go around with horses was a key skill. And then came the steam engine, then came the the internal combustion uh, uh, engine, and all these jobs were replaced. It, it might happen for computing at this stage. I consider it not a technology that has the necessary uh, level and uh, has dangers uh, uh, in it that are, that make me, but here I'm an old man, so, uh, but I've also seen a lot of things. If I may just uh, add a, a comment on that, I think, if, if you ask the good if you have the correct you ask the correct questions to uh, any AI AI uh, you might have somewhat a, a correct answer or almost correct answer um, um, probably not on code but at least on uh, on other subject but if you start from the code that was generated and you don't say it um, we might not. Uh, see it out of the box. Uh, we might um, not, because everyone codes differently. The, pro the problem is when you need to support your code, when you need to maintain it, when you need to test it, AI won't help you there because it can't. At, at, at the day we are speaking, it can't. And this is where we will, anyone uh, with a bit of experience in IT will see that you didn't understood the code that you claim to be yours. The, and as Jean-Marc said, the problem is not using code coming from elsewhere, uh, because like a teacher told me like a decade ago, uh, we are not really creating new code, we are just creating new glue between pieces of code. And when you, when, if you don't, if you claim a piece of code to be yours when it's not, your credibility on your next submission won't exist. And it will harm you more than the benefit of claiming that is your, it, it was your code. And personally, I don't have any problem say, uh, seeing a piece of code not coming from your mind. If you understand it, if you are able to tweak it, if you are able to modify it to 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 uh, to uh, suit your needs or suit the needs of the feature you're trying to code or to fix the test you're trying to fix or, and all that, I'm fine. I'm I'm fine with that. But if you're not and you claim it's your code, I, I won't. Personally, I won't. And again, it's a very it's very good a, a summary. Yeah. Yeah, it's a personal, uh, it's a personal um, feat. But yeah, I personally don't have any objection uh, on code coming from AI or any answers coming from AI, as long as it's correct and you understand it. Yeah. As soon as one of those two prerequisites are not met, then I do have a big problem with it. 
that's all. Yeah. Very good. Here, uh, there's an interesting subject. It's already the second time that it uh, uh, comes up, and an interesting one. Uh, I suggest that we stop um, uh, at this stage. Uh, I thank you. I just see somebody joining, but we're we're going to close the call. So, thank you. Thank you for the people for the questions. Thank you for the the comments. I thank you all for your patience and hard work for submitting the proposals, for reviewing them. And we now in the last stretch uh, for the for the selection. So all the good. And I hope that Harsh will sleep enough while waiting for the results. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's conclude. Let's finish here. We'll meet again uh, next week uh, on Friday, where we will uh, congratulate the people that are selected and discuss uh, with the people that were not selected and uh, see how we'll how we'll move forward. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Right. Thank you, Romark. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.